Jesus asks the blind man a very telling question. What do you want me to do for you? He asks. For us, it may be obvious, especially if we know the story already. Well, of course he's going to say, please, can I see again? But actually, life isn't quite that easy. If you'd been a blind beggar for all those years, it wasn't a very nice life, but at least you knew how it worked. You go to your regular patch day by day and you say, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. To everyone who goes by, some will take pity on you, some may spit at you, but probably by the end of the day, you will have enough to live on for another day and another day. And there aren't too many other responsibilities, frankly, attached to that. And so Bartimaeus might have said to Jesus, well, I'd like you to give me enough money so that I'll be able to be happy for a week or a month or, or even longer. Bartimaeus does something completely different. He says, I want to see again. But if he sees again, that means his whole life is going to be different. It's going to change. He will no longer be blind, so he will no longer be a beggar. He will have new possibilities, new responsibilities. And I love that moment. Teacher, the blind man said, let me see again. And Jesus says, off you go, your faith has saved you. And Mark says, immediately he saw again and he followed him on the way. That is a clear sign in Mark, this following Jesus on the way. It's a regular Mark theme that we're all called to follow Jesus on the way. And so we're all called, as it were, to inhabit that moment What's it like for us when Jesus comes to us and says, what do you really want me to do for you? Oh, we may have all sorts of dreams, all sorts of ambitions. Lord, I'd like this, I'd like that. Most of them, the things that we want, would make our life easier. Perhaps what we really ought to ask for is, Lord, enable me to see what your kingdom is all about. Enable me to understand who you really are. Enable me to understand myself, my problems, my weaknesses, and then let me follow you follow you on the way. But what is the way that Jesus is leading? Where is he going? Well, he's on the way up to Jerusalem, and when he gets there, all sorts of things happen that the disciples certainly didn't expect. Mark has written this passage, chapter 11, verses 12 to 25, in a, a way which he writes several passages with two incidents which kind of interpret one another, rather like sometimes in a novel. You get one bit of the story which then interprets the other, even though the writer doesn't actually say so. You have to figure that out for yourself. Jesus comes to a fig tree which has got leaves on it but no fruit yet and Jesus curses the tree. May no one ever eat food from you again. And the disciples see it and they're astonished. And then we go to the temple and Jesus drives out the traders from the temple. And then as they're going back uh, and they, they come back the next day and they see the fig tree withered from its roots. And Peter says, hey, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. You see what Mark is doing. He is holding the temple incident in between the two bits of the fig tree incident. Not that Jesus was just being petulant about the fig tree, but that what happened with the fig tree was a kind of acted symbol of what was going on in the temple. And if you read a couple of chapters further on to Mark 13, it's clear that Jesus is saying the temple is under God's judgment. It has had its time for bearing fruit and it has borne no fruit. And now God is doing something so drastic, so extraordinary in passing judgment on the temple that we would never have imagined it. But that is not because God doesn't want to live in the midst of his people. That was what the temple was a symbol for and of. It's because God does indeed want to live in the midst of his people, in and as Jesus of Nazareth. The temple wasn't nearly as much of a challenge, it seemed, as Jesus himself was. And it's when people like Bartimaeus hear the call and say, OK, I will follow you. I want to know what you have to say to me, that then we really mean business.